Okay, hey everybody, I'm God Paranormal here. I am currently in a barn over here where I live. Uh, that's some um, my mom's flip flop. She's probably gonna be wondering what the heck that, how that got here. Probably a bird or something. Um, but this will be my first location for ghost hunting because. Sometimes when I'm in here alone, when there's no cats in here, um, yeah, we have barn cats. I get this, like, feeling that I'm not alone, you know? Here I'm in the saddling room, um, up there's the loft where I feel like, you know, I'm being watched. There's a, there's a bunch of old stuff up there, um, but... I don't mind that, that's just the dogs running around, but chicken meat our chubby butt and our little blue healer. Um, but this is where I feel like um like there's the most possible activity because usually when I'm in here by myself, you know, no cats or anything, I kinda feel like I'm being watched up from up there in the loft as I showed you. Um, here's where we store, where cells are supposed to be stored. As you can see, there's one right there. I don't know how long that's been there. There's some old tack for horses and stuff. Got a bunch of weeds in here because, as you can see, there's a bunch of holes and weeds that can get in here. The spring we had quite a bit of um, wind, so blew a bunch of dried weeds from the previous summer in. So, um, as you can see, there's a bunch of junk up here. I don't know where most of it came from, but I can guess most of it is just probably a bunch of garbage. I don't even know why it's was stored up here anyway. They could have just sorted through it, but I'm guessing this is what um I'm guessing spirits are probably attached to this stuff up here. Some of it. Cause I bet some of it's up got some significant meaning. Um as you can see there's a plastic duck and a couple of plastic geese. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't know if those were hunting lures or hunting decoys or what they were. If they were yard decorations. Um, but the latest, I can... Uh, right now, I don't have any ghost hunting equipment, so... You know, I'll send it out some... What I want for Christmas, some... Hoping to at least get some sort of, some, at least decent equipment. You know, not that, not too expensive or too cheap, but at least decent equipment. But, I think, latest I'll be able to get out of here is next summer. This will be first location I'll go to. Of course, I don't have my driver's license yet, but, you know, if I get, go someplace where... You know, I get the paranormal feeling, stupid flies. But this will be the first place. Um, the earliest I'll probably be able to get out here is spring. Um, next spring. So, just a. Uh, Update, I'm not going to be able to post a whole lot, but hopefully I'll get some ghost hunting tools for Christmas, if not my birthday. Um, the earliest I'll be out, could possibly be out here is spring, but I probably wouldn't want to come out here at night in springtime. So my best hope would be summertime at probably about oh, 10 o'clock maybe, would probably be the Best time for me to come out here during summers. 
night about 10 o'clock at least, depending on if my mom's not in bed already. Um, that, I think, probably just take stuff, you know, my paranormal equipment with me, you know, when I go over to my grandparents' house or my aunt's house, if I, it depends on if I'm working there. Next, where at my grandparents' gas station next summer, I'll probably oh take a like decent time part time job probably because that's what since next year I'll be old enough to have an actual job. Um, yeah, so I'll be I'll be taking my. Hopefully, get out here to do some investigating about spring, uh, summer, next summer. Like spring, maybe, depending on when and if I'll get me equipment. At least some decent equipment to get me started. Um, but, till then, Gone Paranormal is out.